Well, hey, everybody, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. So we made it all the way down to Galveston. Uh, Barrel came in on Monday. It's Friday. So this is a week after Barrel. And uh, the place we had rented has been hurricane damaged. The uh, island's still out of power, uh, mostly. So uh, we won't be able to stay here. But uh, we'll go ahead and take a walk through. This construction is amazing to me. So look at this. It's 20 feet up in the air. Three shipping containers welded together with a top floor like a, a widow's walk. So uh, it is um, really something. So I was smart. Uh, I was smart and I had bought the uh, insurance, the travel insurance through ABN, uh, 38 bucks or something. You saw that, right, Leah? Yes. So I haven't used it. So we'll find out how that works on Airbnb. Uh, otherwise, I use them my Amex, and Amex doesn't mess around. If you're cheated, Amex is on your side. That's one of the superior points of having American Express. So, and I did use my Amex, right, Leah? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, anyway, we're double, triple protected. Uh, in addition, we haven't reached out to the landlord. Um, when we asked him originally, he said that he noticed a water leak in here, but uh, the power hasn't come back on on the island, so we can't use this. But let's go ahead and take a look at the construction. So I walked up these stairs, I'm winded. I mean, eh, and I don't like heights, and seriously, it makes me a little nervous. So uh, each one of these shipping containers is a bedroom, and then uh, it's welded together. There's sort of some serious engineering in here. Uh, two by 12s, it's definitely held up in a hurricane. It is. Sort of, except we notice like, the water damage around the weld beams, so there was something not sealed in the roof that came in and knocked it. And of course, the power's out in here, so we've got the windows open right now to even see it. Uh, no fault of the Airbnb for the power, I'd say, because uh, hurricanes, right? That's a force of nature. Oh, look at the moisture down here. Yeah, yeah. So, this so box is oh, that's the router box is drenched. So the hurricane did get in here. Now this is a 20 foot container here, Leah, and it's awfully small for a bathroom bedroom, but it's got all the amenities you would want. The bathrooms are nice. Notice that it's it's way more than a high cube. So these roofs are 10 foot, but this they're- This room smells moldy. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe these are high cubes in the, the drywall's right on the roof. Well, they just smell, it smells oceany. It smell, doesn't smell moldy, it smells like the ocean. Uh, there's a washer and dryer, the living room, the stairs are kind of neat. But I'm much more happy with me with a 20 foot vaulted ceiling between two shipping containers than welding a bunch together to try to get the square foot. It, well, we, we're in a hurricane zone. We're not used to that. So we're up 20 feet just to get out of the swell. And even then, it still didn't work. So the, this whole upstairs is a bath, uh, is a uh, kitchen. I, I like that design. I talked about an efficiency kitchen. Oh, we couldn't even, um, yeah, we can't even um, cook our own dinners, Leah. There's no, no power at all. So... We don't have restaurants and we don't have. Alrighty. So then outside, uh, and it has been battered. A lot of these houses are pretty torn up. Uh, you know, and then there's one last wrap around. That's the kitchen there, which goes up. And then you'll see the ocean. We'll go ahead and do that. These stairs, every time I come to these, um, shipping containers i always get stairs i think that are too small my body's six foot i'm 230 pounds and i'll tell you uh this little narrow wrap around stair very difficult for me but it, it i see it at every um shipping container home we've stayed at and there's the ocean right there wave hi leah it looks like you're a million miles away She's just down. You're every bit of 15 foot below me, though, and then it's 20 feet to the ground. Yeah. I am super nervous to be up this high. I, yeah. I do not like heights. 
But what of you? So we know a resort that's down the road from here that we've stayed at that's super high end. We're gonna stop there. Maybe it held up better to the hurricane and maybe it has generators. Yeah. If not, we drove four hours to turn around and drive back. Uh, Leah said, well, the Airbnb host should have emailed us, but the internet was, line was severed here when they were trying to repair the power. <laughs> <laughs> and they cut the internet. So I'm cutting him some slack. He may he may have reached out and could have get a hold of us. Uh, we'll didn't. see. We yeah, but they when they're repairing the power, they cut the lines for the internet on this side of Texas. So the, all of it. That's why Spectrum's out again. So uh, and the, okay, this was a Class One hurricane, which is the lowest of hurricanes, right? Oh. It was a Class Four oh to start God. with. <laughs> she oh missed. God, that's there. Know. <laughs> so, if a class one could do this to Texas, oh my God, what if it had been a class four and just had sat here and spiraled like it did to Rockport? Uh, oh man, it would have been beat up. I mean, it's so. nice, but. All right. Well, okay, so I, I prefer my design, but I'm in the middle of central Texas. I don't have 20 foot swells to deal with. A lot of this engineering that had to happen had to happen because of the hurricane and the ocean, which will gobble stuff up. And we saw totally flattened buildings, and Leah saw boats pushed up on the way up on the shore. I didn't get to see it because I was driving, but uh, it's even still, I don't know if I'd weld shipping containers together for more floor space purposely. Like, I like my idea of two shipping containers with a vaulted ceiling between it. Now, I haven't finished building mine, so... But even still, my uh, aunt's bedroom en suite feels a lot more cozy than this. This still has a lot of the shipping container vibe in it, and I've covered most of my shipping container up, and it doesn't have the echo that this has, and it's more homey. Mm -hmm. This is... Uh, if you like mid uh, industrial mod... A mid-century mod yes. industrial. You probably really dig this. But, I'm doing more earthy, right? So um, I'm not really digging this. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, even the windows like this is a little hurricane window. You know, triple pane, heavy duty. You know, I don't know where the water came from. To be honest, it had to get through the weld and follow it down, That's what I'm saying. and like then drip here. through because. The drips are right here, and there's no water damage here, nor is there a sink there. The sink's over there. Over there. So, unless the pipes ran up, but you saw that one piece of sheetrock was down that was underneath, so. Oh, no. Anyway, we're going to, uh, I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm not going to be able to take advantage of this. Uh, hopefully, the uh, gentleman will be able to refund my money. If not, I have travel insurance. And every time we If not, I have Amex, so. And this is not very I could not retire in this home. That's the other thing that I'm making my home. It'll have both stairs and ramps, so it'll be completely accessible one say, floor. This just seems so far from the home. Home. It oh, does. Yeah. This is so, so for younger people to come down and, and be by Party the ocean. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, this is Steve, a thousand year home. I'm going to wrap this video up and go see if we can find shelter. I should have pulled the pop up camper. <laughs> We would have parked on the beach for free. All right, like, subscribe, follow us along. Oh, we